Hello class, welcome to another lesson. I'm going to do something a little bit different here. Hola clase, um, bienvenidos a la clase. Voy a um, hacer el video en inglés y en español um, en mismo video. Um, okay. You should all copy this down right now. Todos deben copiar todo esto. And then do the word of the day warm up. Entonces, um, as warm up the uh, palabra de día. Okay, we're going to move on. Vamos a continuar en 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay, so the word today is pay. It means to match. En español, uh, creo que es considerar. So, make sure you take a guess. Deben adivinar. And today's lesson should not be super long. It should be pretty um, quick. Uh, nuestra lección hoy es... Debe ser mm, uh, más rápido. So, different types of ang angles. Ángulos diferentes. Tipos de um, ángulos. First one is called vertical angles. Primer, tenemos... Angulos verticales. They mean angles that are across from each other. Angulos a través. So, for example, por ejemplo, uno y cuatro. One and four. They are across from each other. Están a través. So, what you can do is you can write down, um, like, for example, Angle 1 and angle 4. Angle 1 y angle 2. Uh, 4. So what else? ¿Qué más? 2. We have 2. Across from it is 3. A través a 2 es 3. So you can do angle 2 and angle 3. What else do we have? How about from 5? A través es ocho. Finalmente tenemos seis y siete. Ok, corresponding angles, ángulos co correspondientes. So, these ones would be ones that are in the same position. Ángulos en mismo, mismas posiciones. For example, one has this. And then five, same thing. Mismo posición um, is in the top left. A la izquierda, arriba. So uno y cinco, one and five. So what if we look at angle 2? Y para angulo 2? So we have the same exact thing there. ¿Cuál angulo es exactamente el mismo? A uh, 2 es 2 y 6. Exactly 2 and 6 are the same. Those are corresponding angles, same positions. And let's see what else we have. We have, how about for angle 3? What is corresponding to angle 3? Que está correspondiente a angulo 3? 3 and 7, bottom left, abajo a la izquierda. How about 4? Last one left, la, las últimas, últimas, 4 y 8. Okay, so that's vertical and corresponding angles. Now we have alternate interior angles. Angulos interior, interiores alternativos. So let's break apart what that means. Alternate 
alternativos means different side, lados diferentes. And an interior, interior, means inside. So inside, let's look. What sort of inside do we have? We have lines and then we have outside, afuera, inside, interior. So we're going to be looking at those ones. Interior, ores, están, esos ángulos. These are the interior angles. Alternate means other side. Otro lado. If we have three, what's on the other side? Five is on the same side. Cinco está en mismo lado a tres, but six is on the other side. So we have angle three and angle six. How about for five? Five, three is on the same side, but the only other one left is four. Tenemos cuatro en otro lado. So angle five, I'll do angle four and angle five. It doesn't matter the order, no se, se importa la, el orden. It's just saying and. How about same side interior? Interior, again, same inside. Interiores. So same side would be three and five. Tres y cinco. And then four and six. Mismo lados. Okay, so what I want you to do is figure out five and six. So the we do section kind of is this. This is kind of our we do. So I'm going to assume that you pause the video and we'll continue. Uh, deben hacer esto sin yo. Entonces vamos a revisar. Uh, deben pausar el video. Entonces vamos a continuar en 3, 2, 1, 0. Alright, let's check. Vamos a revisar. Alternate exterior. exterior. So instead of those inside ones, we're going to use the outside ones. Exteriors. Exteriores. Alternate. So, other side. Otro lado. Uno y ocho. And then two and seven, dos y siete. All right, and the last one that we have is same side exterior. Exteriores otra vez, exterior again. So same side, mismo lado. Uno y siete están en mismo lado. One and seven are in the same side, y por eso son ángulos exteriores de mismo lado, they are same side exterior angles. And then our last ones, 2 and 8, ángulo 2 y ángulo 8. So this is what we have. If you need to copy again, just pause. Si necesitas copiar, puedes pausar el video. And here's your you do section. It's just going to be a check for understanding. Um, ver verificación de entiendo. Um, si mis palabras no son correctos, pueden um, enviar uh, correo electrónico a mí o puedes um, comentar en lo los comentarios abajo también. Okay, so the first thing you go to Canvas, ir a Canvas, click on the quiz. It is called this. There is one thing there that is called that. So please go there, find that. If you need a picture of it, it 
looks like this. So go to that thing. Quiz, prueba. So please do that, do it, submit it. You can do it multiple times if you want. Um, just make sure that you submit it by the due date. All right, good day, everybody.